Hi, my name is Joe Caffel, and I am the glass fusing instructor at Hickam Arts and Crafts. So welcome, and today I'm going to teach you to make a fused glass coral bowl, one of the most popular classes I teach here. You can make any shape, size, or form of bowl. You can have something like this that is very generic, very, I don't know, looks like coral. You can have something like this one where it's much more uniform. After this one is slumped so that it is the shape of the others, it will be very defined and will look more like this as opposed to the others, which are more like this. And at the end, you'll see what I mean. So the first thing you're going to do is decide on the shape that you want. If you want something that's defined or something more organic, then you're going to decide on your glass and then you're going to decide on the mold that you're going to use. You can use a mold like this, which will give you something more this shape. You can use a mold like this, which will give you something like this, but shorter. Or you can use a mold like this, which will give you more of this shape. You can also do something like this one, which is square. So once you've decided what kind of mold you want to use, what kind of glass you want to use, you take your mold, you measure it so that you have an idea of the size of glass you need to cut, set your mold aside, take your glass, and then you're going to start cutting your strips. If you're cutting, if you're going to make a uniform mold, you decide on the size, the thinner the strip, the thinner your piece of glass will be. You cut your strips. Using a ruler if you're going to be uniform. You take your glass strips. If you decide you would like something that's more organic, you don't use the ruler and you just cut your strips however you want. When you have more organic strips, when you lay them out, you'll see that it gives you a wavy design and looks a little bit more like coral. So once you're ready, you take your tile, you take your pieces of glass, and you lay them out in your design. And I know right now it looks kind of like a mess, but believe me, when it comes out of the kiln, it's going to look great. So now your piece is ready and you're going to take it to the kiln. Okay, so we're going to get this piece into the kiln. Get it closed. And get it ready to go. And now we're going to check on this one that we started earlier. This one just has to cool down and we'll come back in a little bit and empty it. Okay, so we have two pieces of glass from the kiln. This is our uniform piece, nice small blue piece. This is our multicolored organic piece. So when this is slumped, this piece is going to look very much like this one. And slumping is simply forming the glass into the shape, the design that you would like. One of the things you have got to do when you're fusing glass, you have got to prep your molds. Doesn't matter if it's flat mold, a round mold, or a tall mold. Two types of release that we use, one is liquid and one is paper. We use the liquid on this one. It's a powder we mix with water, we paint it on, 
This is pink, so it's already there, ready to go. This one is white, it's already been fired, so this one would have to be prepped again before I used it the next time. So we're gonna take this off here. This mold is ready. We're ready to go in the kiln with it. We simply take our fired piece, we set it on the mold, we center it so that we know it's ready to go in the kiln, and off we're going back into the kilns. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this one back in the kiln, making sure it's centered on the mold. Now, the first time we put it in the kiln, we did a full fuse. And what a full fuse means is we are fusing the pieces of glass together completely, no shape except those two pieces. All those nice pieces are now one solid piece. What we're gonna do now is called a slump mold, and that's our slump fuse, and it's gonna go down over the glass and make the shape. Each cycle takes approximately 16 hours, plus an additional four hours to cool down before you can take it out of the kiln. If you take glass out of the kiln too fast, it will crack and it will break, and you're gonna have to start all over again. So let's set this one up. And now we're gonna check on this one that we had made earlier. And there's our bowl. So if you're interested in taking one of my classes, you can come down to the Arts and Crafts Center, see me anytime. You can go online to greatlifehawaii.com and get all kinds of information, not just for my classes, but for all the other wonderful classes we teach. So I hope we'll be seeing you soon, and have a great day.